the number seven quarterback of all time, Dan Marino. Just from a pure quarterbacking standpoint, if you were to draw the prototype, it's probably Dan Marino. He's what you want a quarterback to look and function like. Marino, deep drop, throwing deep up trio down the near side, man open, touchdown! Dan Marino is once-in-a-lifetime talent. He had this massive arm, the quickest release. <laughs> Plus, Dan was cool. He had the hair, he had the tan. Just always looked like he came off the beach to throw a touchdown. Marino had the two-minute magic that ranked right with the great Montana and Elway. 30 seconds to go. I believe Marino is saying I'm going to spike it. Marino, he throws the right. Touchdown, Dolphins! Flynn burns inside that man, Dan Marino. I would say Dan Marino isn't just in the top 10 when it comes to quarterbacks. I'd say he's in the top 10 when it comes to actors, and I'm talking about all time. He's the one you want. Kill him. No, no, kill him. No, kill, kill him. him. Kill him. He held he's the ball. The you look at his work in Pat Detective, and you look at sort of how he dug deep to come up with that character. Try, baby. Jock. Wimp. It was such a moving performance. Suddenly, at 22 years of age, Dan Marino was asked to bear the responsibility of reviving the dormant Miami offense. He was great instantly. He stepped on the field great. He was probably the best young quarterback we've ever seen. And his 1984 season is probably the best ever. It's unbelievable to think that he was throwing for 5,084 yards and 48 touchdowns in 1984. Here's Marino, wide open field, throws for a touchdown, and there's the record. He has thrown his 37th touchdown pass of the season. Can you imagine the numbers Dan Marino would have put up in today's NFL? It's insane. I mean, he was a real-life video game. He has that magical MVP year, and we go to the Super Bowl, and I thought we were going to go every other year. Young Dan Marino, with his first Super Bowl, will be a loss. They go from the Super Bowl to the AFC Championship game of the next year in 85 to missing the playoffs for four straight years. You know, that, that hurts Marino's legacy big time. In those first 10 years, the Dolphins' offense under Marino was one of the best in NFL history, but their defense was also one of the worst. No quarterback, not Tom Brady, not Joe Montana, was going to win a Super Bowl with those defenses he had to play with in Miami. Dan Marino must have a fishbowl of indigestion trapped in his chest when he stops and thinks, wait, Trent Dilfer and Brad Johnson have Super Bowl rings and I don't? That's one feeling I don't have. What is it like to walk off the field and win that Super Bowl? I have no regrets, but that's the one thing that I never accomplished. He was so spectacular, it doesn't matter if he has rings or not. He was just great. 